If you're looking for a way to add production value and interest to your films, one of the best bits of kit you can have is a slider. For a pretty reasonable price, you can add a ton of stable and smooth shots that progress your story. So today, we're gonna show you six epic slider shots to use in your next video. So these techniques are super versatile and you can use them for practically anything, but we need something to shoot, so we decided on a cardboard miniature city inspired by Blade Runner and the OG Star Wars. So our first shot is gonna be a low pull and tilt. It's used in a whole lot of movies to create feelings of insignificance and can also be used when you're pulling out from a character to show more of a scene and more of their surroundings. For this shot, we've set up our city in one long street and we'll run the Magic Carpet Pro down the center. We've mounted the Nitrotech 612 on top and both of these together are gonna to allow us to get a really silky smooth tilt and pull. The flywheel on the Magic Carpet Pro is really helpful for this because it's gonna mean that the move is slow and you don't get any jolt because it's providing an even level of resistance. So this is a pretty simple move. You just wanna make sure you have the panning axis on the video head locked off and that way you're not gonna get any accidental right to left movement. You can just focus on the tilt. Next up, we'll be doing an inverted tracking shot. We've taken the slider and the whole setup and mounted it upside down on two light stands. Uh, inverted tracking shots are really useful for showing a sense of scale and the topographical layout of an area or surrounding. And most commonly, they're like drone shots. This is just on a much smaller scale. So the Magic Carpet Pro makes this really easy to do because it's infinitely extendable, so you can extend it beyond the edges of the table. And then also, it's able to be mounted upside down without the need of any additional clamps or anything like that. So again, we're using the Nitrotech head. It's really useful because you can get a full 90 degree tilt, meaning you can be directly above your subject and get the full bird's eye view. So once we have it all set up, it's a really simple move just from one end to the other. Next up, we're gonna do a vertical tracking shot. When these are done in films, you normally use a jib or a crane, but you can actually do it by mounting your slider vertically using a video head. For the actual movement, we're using a counterweight, so we're gonna bring the camera right to the top of the setup, engage the flywheel, and then slowly lower it down, letting gravity do all the work. So we're also using the brand new Syrup tilt platform. Uh, it makes it really easy to get a 90 degree shot when you're doing those vertical movements, and you can set it actually to any angle depending on how you have your slider. So a vertical tracking shot is really useful when you wanna show more in the up-down axis. They can be used to track up an object or a person and show what's behind them, and it has the added bonus of making everything feel really epic. Next slider shot is gonna be a tracking pan. Tracking shots are often used to add production value to your video. Um, they create a whole lot of depth between the background and the subject. And you can also get some awesome effects by having objects in the foreground whip past. It really adds a whole lot of dimensionality to your shot. If you wanna take this one step further, you can also do a pan as you track. This is gonna mean that you can keep your subject in the center of the frame while still creating that depth. So to do this, we're gonna set up our slider between two tripods. This is gonna mean that it's a nice stable setup and the camera's gonna stay smooth throughout the whole move. If you're having trouble with the panning part, you can always increase the drag on your video head. This is gonna provide a little bit more resistance and make the whole movement smoother. Next up we have a dolly zoom. It can be used to invoke feelings of panic or make it feel like the entire world is crushing in around your subject. It's not something you need to use in every video, uh, but it's something that's definitely useful to have in your tool belt. So to do this, we're going to zoom in or out on an object and at the same time track in or out in the opposite direction, keeping the subject the same relative size and in focus using either a follow focus or your camera's autofocus if it's good enough. For our final shot, we are gonna be doing a pull, tilt, and roll. So this is a pretty crazy, wild shot that you would not use in every video, but if you do, it's gonna make everything look really epic. So to do this, we've had to suspend our city upside down uh, over a pool of water. We've made this using polyurethane and two by fours, and it's gonna act as an almost infinity pool, confusing the viewer as we pan up from it. 
Now, you could try do this just with a video head, but it's probably not gonna work, so we're using motion control. So we've got the Genie 2 Linear, on top of that we've got the Genie 2 Pan Tilt, and then we have a Genie Mini 2 on a Pan Tilt bracket that's gonna give us the roll. Now to make all those moving parts work together, uh, we're doing everything through the Genie 2 app, and that means that all of our syrup gear can work simultaneously using keyframes. So with all that set up, let's go. everything shot it's time for a quick grade some music some titles and we have the intro to our not so real superhero show Thanks for watching. Hopefully you picked up a technique you can use in your next video. And if you do use syrup gear or anything you learned, make sure you tag us on Instagram. We love seeing what you make. If you have a technique you want to see us cover in a future quick tip, make sure you leave it in the comments down below and we will see you guys later.